bounds. So there are two kinds of conversion. This is what I'm talking to you. The first kind is simple conversion and the second one is partial conversion. But there are three things that we have to consider. The first thing in the study of conversion, these are technical terms. These are terms that we can hear only in logic in so far as conversion is concerned. When we talk about converting, converting with an N, we're talking of the antecedent, we're talking of the original proposition. When we talk about converse, we are dealing here with the new proposition. When there is a verse or there is an SE at the end in the study of conversion, convertend is the original, converse is the new. So it's time for us to make use of the word convertend. When you talk about the convertend, we're talking of the original proposition. The converse is the new. And then conversion, as I said, is a process. No, it's a process of formulating a new proposition from the antecedent or the original to a new proposition simply by interchanging the subject and the predicate without touching or changing the quality of the original proposition. Simple conversion. What is simple conversion? A conversion is said to be simple if the quantity of the converse is the same as the quantity of the convertent. Did you get it? Nakuha ninyo. Tanawa ha? The quantity is... The conversion is simple if the quantity of the converse is the same as the quantity of the convertent. If the quantity is universal, the convertent must also be universal also. If the quantity of the original proposition or the dissident is particular... The quantity of the converse must also be particular. Very good. So, you take note on that. No, If the quantity of the original proposition is particular, the quantity of the new proposition or the converse, if the convertent is particular, the converse must also be particular. If the quantity is if the convertent is universal, the converse must also be universal. That is in so far as simple conversion is concerned. Remember that there are only two symbols, dalawang symbols lang, that have, that there are only two types of a proposition or symbols that have simple converse. All the rest do not have. Only E and I. A proposition may be converted using the, the, the rules on simple conversion, but we are prohibited from using it. The E is the, the antecedent is E, the convertent is E, therefore the converse must also be E. So universal negative, the converse must also be universal negative. The I, if the convertent is an I proposition, the converse must also be an I proposition. So that is when we talk about simple. On the other hand, uh, the conversion is partial, if the quantity of the proposition is reduced from universal to particular. You take note, in simple conversion, we do not touch both the quality and the quantity. But there are only two, two symbols or propositions that may be converted applying the rules of simple conversion, the E and I. The E to E and the I to I. Okay? When we talk about partial, 